So you'd like Zimrider to use your tone and style and you're wondering, how do I do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. The simple way, if you've taken self-scribe or brand scribe and you have those prompt snippets available, I'm gonna show you how to use those. But if you don't, then we're gonna show you another way that you can do it. And it's all either way by creating what's called a mimic inside a Zimrider. So let's go ahead and take a moment and show you how to do that. Here we go. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can use your self-scribe or brand scribe prompt snippet to create a mimic within Zimrider. Now, if you try to paste that in directly, Zimrider is gonna tell you that that's not enough information. So what you need to do is we need to go into ChatGPT or Claude and we need to go ahead and take our mimic, or I'm sorry, take our, our prompt, our prompt snippet that is, and paste it in here and watch what we do next. So I'm gonna paste in my self-scribe there's my prompt snippet. I got that out of the self-scribe challenge. And now I'm going to say, please provide me with a detailed explanation of what this prompt snippet means in relation to ChatGPT creating content for me. To match my tone and style. And what's going to happen here is ChatGPT is now going to create a, a bunch of information for us on what that prompt snippet actually means. And this is important because we're going to utilize this information to create that mimic within Zimwriter itself. So we're going to go ahead and let it finish up here a minute. It's almost done. There we go. We'll move this over to this side here a minute to get it out of the way a little bit. And as soon as this is done, we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to copy this directly into our Mimic in Zimwriter. So I'm just going to go down here and click the copy button. Now I'm going to go over to Zimwriter and we're going to see what we can do there. So actually I meant we really should go into the bulk writer. We can do this in either the bulk writer or in the SEO writer, but let's go ahead and set it up here. And I'm going to click in the bulk writer and I'm going to go over to style Mimic disabled. And when I do that, it's gonna open up this box for me about setting up a, a mimic. Notice I don't have any right now, so we're gonna go ahead and generate a mimic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in this content that I got from ChatGPT. So there's all that content, and we're gonna gener generate a mimic. Take just a second, and then we'll name that mimic. And once this is done, we'll be able to use this anywhere inside of Zimwriter that we want. So we'll call this mimic Jonathan Mast. And I'm going to update the Mimic. We're going to save it. And now I have that available to me and we're good to go. I can use different models and things like that that I want to, but that's saved. Now, the other thing I can do is if I've got my brand scribe. I can create a second Mimic with that if I want. Let me show you how to do that a moment. So I went ahead and grabbed my prompt snippet from my brand Mimic and sorry, brand Mimic. I'm mixing my words from my brand scribe. And I'm going to go ahead and take that in here and we're going to change this mimic name to White Beard Strategies. So if you've got a client or you want one for your brand, this would be a great way to do it. Um, and I made a mistake. I pasted that in there. I shouldn't paste it in there. I actually need to go back into ChatGPT and do the same thing and say, what about, and I'll load in our brand scribe snippet and we'll let it go ahead and explain what we're doing here. Then we'll go and copy and paste this back in to create a new brand style mimic inside of ChatGPT or inside of Zimwriter. Obviously, I'm losing my words today. It's what happens when I record video at the end of my day. We'll go ahead and pause this a minute until it's done and then we'll come back. All right, so we're done. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna copy that, delete that mimic, paste it in. There we go. We're now generate a mimic for Whitebeard Strategies. Take just a moment while that finishes up and then we'll save that mimic. There we go, save. So now we have multiple mimics that we can do. Notice we've got Jonathan Mast, I've got Test Atlanta Shop, and I've got Whitebeard Strategies. So I can use these at any point in time that I want and load those mimics up. It makes it very, very easy. So that's as simple as it is to setting up a mimic. If you wanted to do something different, you could actually paste in a blog post here. You could paste in a, uh, a transcript from a video you've done or anything like that. So let's go ahead and try that for a minute and I'll show you how that works. And so let's do this from a transcript from a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my channel here a minute. Oops, hang on, I got clicked in the right spot. There we go. 
and I'm going to grab a video that's just me talking. I don't want to have anybody else in it, so let's go ahead and grab a model with just me. Um, I did a review on, on ZimWriter. I could actually use that one as well. Let's, let's do that just for the fun of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click into here, and we'll move over on the side. Now, if we scroll down in the description on a YouTube video, you're going to see a button down here that says, hang on, transcript. There we go, show transcript. So I'm going to click on show transcript. It's going to open up this transcript over here and I'm literally going to go down and highlight the whole thing. So again, this was a, a fairly decent video. It looks like about 20 minutes long. Go ahead and grab that. I'm going to go back over now into ZimWriter, which I've grabbed that from. And let's go ahead and create a new one this time. We'll call this Jonathan Mast YouTube. So I know where it came from. We're going to go ahead and paste all of that transcript in here. And we're going to click on Generate Mimic. Again, it's going to take just a moment, but it's going to analyze that transcript and it's going to create a style that we can use. And we'll see that style come up down here. So it said, write in a style that's instructional and informative, suitable for readers at a high school level. Use medium to long sentences with frequent commas, ensuring daily clarity, I'm sorry, in complex explanations, a low level of emotion around two on a scale of one to 10, one incorporating detailed descriptions, blah, blah, blah. So I've got all of that in there and I can go ahead and save that mimic. What's neat now is I can go back and I can load any one of these. So let's compare that to Jonathan Mast and you'll see there's a bit of difference here based upon the data that I've used. And this is why it can be important to create multiple mimics. So write in a style that is direct and assertive, focusing on clarity and confidence that requires vocabulary accessible to high school readers with medium length sentences, often use commas for better structure. The emotional tone is low, prioritizing logic and decisiveness. Explanations are moderately detailed. So there's some similarity stuff there, but definitely not the same. And so it's helpful to have multiple mimics. Now, once these are in place, when I go to create content, I can pick that. I'm going to pick my Jonathan Mast one. We'll go ahead and exit out here. Let's go back into ZimWriter. And now my style mimic is enabled. You'll notice it's green because I've picked the style that I want and made sure it's my style. So now it's going to write in that as it creates any of these articles. I can use that same tool over in the SEO writer if I want. Let's go to the SEO writer. And in some of the other areas, let's go down here to the mimic, see if I can find it really quick. Here it is, so staring right at it, style mimic disabled. I turn on style mimic. I go ahead and load the Jonathan mast. And just like that, now as I exit out, you'll notice style mimic is enabled on here as well. So it's that easy. Once you've got the mimics done, by the way, you can create multiple mimics as we've shown here. You can have one for every client, for every person on your team, for your company, whatever you want and make sure you're writing in the right style. I hope this proved to be helpful. So I hope you've found this helpful as we take a look at how you can create a mimic within ZimWriter, and then you can load that up anytime you need a specific tone or style to do that. One other just reminder, if you have your self scribe or brand scribe or both of those prompt snippets, you can always add that into the background information as you're writing in ZimWriter and that will help as well. Just add that right into the background information field. But if you don't have that available and or you want to use the mimic instead, then follow the methods we showed here. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.